Hi guys, this is Senora Romero and today I'm going to teach you how to create your e-portfolio for a world language department. I want you to go to google.com and sign in using your initials ID number at student.musd.org like this initials ID number at student.musd.org once you're signed in go up to the top black bar and hit sites click on create then you're going to browse for the template that we've created for you by hitting browse gallery for more Hi guys, this is Senora Romero and today I'm going to teach you how to create your e-portfolio for a world language department. I want you to go to google.com and sign in using your initials ID number at student.musd.org like this initials ID number at student.musd.org once you're signed in go up to the top black bar and hit site click on create then you're going to browse for the template that we've created for you by hitting browse gallery for more the title of the template is MHS WLD World Language Department portfolio search select the template and scroll down to select you're going to click this orange again to make sure that it's selected and then name your site I'm going to create a site for Pitbull so I've used his first name initial would be P and then Bull WLD again for World Language Department and I'm going to hit create up here at the top. This is the website that it creates for me. Here's my site name P Bull WLD but I need to personalize all of this. If you see on the first page about me it asks me for a bunch of information and in order to add the information I need to use the tools up here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on this pencil tool, this edit page. The first thing it asks me to do is add a photo so I'm going to go to insert image and then I need to browse for my photo which I already did but let's see if I don't like that photo I would say choose file and select from my files then click OK now I like the size of this photo but if my photo were to come out too small or too large I could adjust the size a little bit using small medium large and then I also want to make sure that I select wrap on so that the information whatever I write appears right next to my photo if I have wrap off the information is down below I want it right next to the photo alright so it's very very important that after you make your changes you go up here to the save button before I do that I'm going to go ahead and type in all of the answers to these questions then I will hit save so here's all my information I hit save and now I'm going to take you for a brief little tour of all the other pages. Next tab is Spanish 1. If you were in Spanish 1, you would uh, have your Spanish information here. Then second level would be the next tab for next year. And third level would be the tab for the year after that. Tools is a small list of um, online tools that we thought would be helpful to you. And we want you to add your own. Notes is like a blog that you can update with notes that you take in class like photos or whatever uh, we'll show you more about that in another tutorial and then finally you have your contact me tab so the next tutorial will go into more detail about how to personalize the following tabs thanks I hope you watch the next tutorial